Hey everybody, another competition style problem. And let me label a point on this graph where we have a parabola and an inscribed rectangle. Now the coordinates of this particular point, in other words, it's where the uh, rectangle uh, intersects the graph of the parabola would be X, which corresponds to the, uh, the width of this particular rectangle. And it has a height equal to the y coordinate, which is 42 uh, minus x squared in this case. All right, and I just let some software graph this for me, folks. I didn't want to waste the time uh, trying to sketch a graph. Notice that this, another name for the uh, y axis is x equal to 0. So notice the coordinates of this point, 0, 42 as anticipated. So. Again, the, the software drew a nice scaled version of what's going on here. Okay, now, next, this is kind of an odd initial condition. This came, it's an SMO practice problem, I think. And they give you the maximum area as being in this form. Okay, that's the square root of 7 times m, where m is some, m is some real number, not necessarily an integer. Okay, so m is a real number. Okay, and so we're supposed to find this value of m. So let's get busy uh, with that. And I've done most of the work already. Uh, but again, as we noted, the area of half of the rectangle is right here. Okay, in other words, this distance right here would be x, right? Which is the width. And of course, the height is just the functional expression. Okay, and so half of the area, it's one, it's... Uh, this would be 2x, right? This would be 2x if we were doing the entire rectangle. So half is just x times this expression, okay? So what we're going to do is just uh, write this in an equivalent fashion, okay? You can rewrite this. It's just more convenient, and you'll see why. Uh, just a couple of operations get you in this form. And notice I greened out this expression x cubed plus a because it's kind of crucial working with this and making progress with this is tantamount to, um, to, I mean, solving the problem, okay? So uh, now this is the first slightly unmotivated step. We rewrite A as one-half A plus one-half A, and that's to take advantage of something called the AMGM inequality, which is what this is right here. Okay, now this is the three operand form. It's, it's, it holds for all. If this were four, this would be four. If this was five, this would be five, and so on. And it relates the operation of addition to the operation of multiplication, very fundamental, along with the Cauchy-Schwartz, two of the most widely used important uh, inequalities. But this stands for arithmetic mean, geometric mean. So the right-hand side is the geometric mean. And that kind of motivates why you would do something that's ludicrous. Like, why would you do this, you know? Well, it's because this, this inequality exists, basically. All right. Now, uh, again, the rest of it's fairly routine work. Uh, I just combined all three of these multiplication symbols, uh, and we can take the cube root of x cubed, which gives us the x you see right here. And of course, a times a is a, a, a squared, and then 2 times 2 is 4 is what you see right here. Okay. Now, notice I'm carrying along this expression that's part of something that's equivalent to what we were trying to do initially. Okay. All right. And if you keep on keeping on here, you can see why. If you see this 42 right here, okay, that's exactly where this 42 comes from right here. And notice that's because this is an X here, right? 42 X. All right, and the inequalities are pointing in the right directions for this all to work out nicely. Okay, and so anyway, the, the, the computation is based on equating this coefficient of X in terms of A, which is what we're interested in. Okay, and, you, and you, if you carry out all this work, Again, I won't go through all this with you. Uh, I've checked it and double-checked it. It's correct, I think. Uh, you get this. But notice this is one-half. This would correspond to one-half. We're looking for a value. Okay, we're looking for a value to go in front of the square root of 7, right? So what we would have to do right here, since this, this area, this A is associated with half the area, we would have to multiply this by 2, okay? So the M we're looking for would be uh, M 
well, I won't write down m, but let, let's just let's just go ahead and write down. We have to multiply this by two, since we're working. We're, all the work we did was related to half the area of the of the of the rectangle. Okay, so you would have two times twenty eight uh, times uh, two root seven, or excuse me, two times twenty eight times root two times root seven, right? But remember what we're trying to find here, where this would be the object that is the coefficient of um, root 7. Again, this is a peculiar, when I first looked at this problem, I didn't really, I couldn't figure it out. I just watched the solution at Coco Education. I wasn't able to figure it out really. I didn't know that the AMGM would be useful here. But anyway, this is the M because the M is the coefficient of root 7, if you want to think of it that way. So this would be, uh, this, the answer to the question would be M is equal to uh, 56 root 2. And again, I thought it was pretty neat. I don't think I would have figured it out ever, no matter how much time you gave me, you know, because again, it, it's easy. It's relatively easy once you see, um, you, once, you, once you know that the AMGM equality is important, but you see, this is the big step going from here to right here. This is tough, right? Like this is the big leap right here. But once you see the form of the AMGM inequality, it's highly motivated if you if you just know to connect AMGM to this. Now, one thing about the SMO is they do a lot of AMGM. And so the students, the competitors there kind of anticipate problems that will involve the AMGM inequality and look for that. So they already know it kind of, we're, you know, somebody who doesn't compete doesn't think like that, but they know to expect it. Okay. So anyway, let's see, what do we got here? 50 M is equal to 56 root two. So M is equal to 56. What, I can't remember anything. 56 root two. All right, good night.